Let's go to our next little segment here. Let's listen to some Rick Wiles. Let's see what Rick Wiles is up to. Rick Wiles is like twice as crazy as Alex Jones, but half as interesting. Or maybe one-fourth as interesting. Let's take a look. If they take him out, there's going to be violence in America. That's all there is to it. And when we say take him out... They're talking about Trump there. If they take Trump out, as in if they impeach Trump, there's going to be violence in America. That's what the thesis is here. So let's listen to that. However he leaves, there's going to be violence in America. And I believe um, there are people... People in this country, veterans. They are ca- okay. Come on, man. Spit it out, bro. Uh, uh, there are people in this country, veterans. Um, that are. Cowboys. 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 Okay. Yeah. The cow. We got to watch out for the fucking the cowboys, man. <laughs> They're going to fucking hog tie them some liberals, boy. <laughs> I'm going to brand your ass, liberal. <laughs> That's kind of kinky, honestly. Mountain men. <laughs> Mountain men. What the fuck is going on here? Oh, my God. Circus, circus clowns. Is that going to be the next one? I mean, guys that know how to fight. Yeah, the fighters. Okay. And they're going to make a decision. There's going to be the veterans and the cowboys and the mountain men, and they're going to rise up to defend Donald Trump. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That the people that did this to Donald Trump. Yeah, there's like eight cowboys in the world at this point, right? I mean, how many fucking cowboys are there? How many fucking mountain men like Jeremiah Johnson's going to come down from his mountain to fucking wreak havoc in the fucking uh, aftermath of the Trump impeachment? You know, like what are not going to get away from with it and they're going to hunt them down. I'm serious. They're going to hunt them down. Yeah, they're going to hunt them down. The army of cowboys, mountain men and veterans Gonna fucking string up Nancy Pelosi, y'all. They gonna they gonna tie a rope around her neck, throw her off a bridge, and piss on her fucking corpse as she's sitting there twitching and such. And you know what? I'm gonna just look at it and say, you know what, Nancy Pelosi, I done told you so, bitch. <laughs> oh. I don't want it to happen. I don't want to see. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Don't give me that bullshit. You know, you sit here in your fucking little, you fucking little jerk off fantasy, and you're like, oh, the, the veterans and the cowboys and the mountain men coming down from the hills to kill the politicians. What defied Donald Trump? Oh, I don't want it to happen. I don't want it to happen. I don't want it. To, ah! 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 I didn't want it. I didn't want it, but. You know, they left him no choice. <laughs> this way, but once hell breaks loose. Oh, yeah, hell. It's going to break loose, if, right? If these people in Washington think that they're going to get away with it, mm. it's not going to happen. Oh, it's not going to happen. Yeah, you know what's not going to happen? <laughs> this little coalition of improbable characters coming down from the mountain and the ranch and the fucking uh, VA <laughs> to to usurp the fucking uh, the, the coup in Washington. That's not going to happen. That's the fucking fantasy, bitch. The Trump supporters are going to hunt them down. Uh. It's going to happen. And uh, this country is going to be plunged into darkness. Well, it sounds like to me that you're the one who's plunging it into darkness. Like if it's going to. So basically what you're saying is that Trump supporters are a bunch of violent thugs who don't respect the rule of law, and if you dare try to impeach the president, they're going to. There's going to be a violent uprising that's going to plunge the country in, into darkness, and it's going to be the Trump supporters who do it. Well, it sounds like those Trump supporters are a giant fucking problem for America. Then, and maybe we should do something about them, right? 
Like, if there's a group of people who are that dangerous and that violent, you know, then obviously the solution is not, well, what we got to give them their way so that they don't do this. The solution is it's time to round those people up, right? So what I'm getting from you is that uh, you think Trump supporters are a bunch of violent thugs who can't handle living in a free democracy, and they're willing to murder people if they don't get their way. Well, I happen to have a little bit higher of an opinion of Trump supporters than you do. I don't think they're going to murder anybody if President Trump gets impeached. I think they're going to bitch about it online and do a bunch of tough talk, but they really ain't going to do shit. That's what I think will happen, and that's what I think should happen. Because that's what people do when they don't get their way in a civilized country. They make a stink about it, but they don't go murder people. Uh, You know, you know, Democrats weren't threatening to fucking go murder every Republican when Clinton was facing impeachment. Uh, Presidents have faced impeachment before. They'll face impeachment again. And uh, it's no reason to call for bloodshed in the fucking streets. You maniac. And don't give me this bullshit that it's not what you want because it's so clearly what you want. You couldn't fucking have a bigger erection for the possibility of that happening. And they brought it upon themselves because it won't back off. It just won't back off. They won't let the people express their views. They voted for Donald Trump. They wanted Donald Trump. But they said, no, you're stupid. You're ignorant. You're racist. <laughs> All right, so the majority of people did not vote for Donald Trump, and I know that's not what matters in this country. We don't have the popular vote. We have the Electoral College. Trump won the Electoral College fair and square. But you know what? By that logic, why does impeachment even exist as a concept? Like, it, you know, the founding fathers gave, gave us the ability to impeach a fucking president for a reason. Every president we've ever had has won the Electoral College has won the will of the people, quote unquote. So that means that you could never, by your logic, you could never impeach a fucking sitting president because it's the will of the people. It's just the will of the people. Well, right now, opinion polls are shown that the people are pretty fucking split on the question of Donald Trump's impeachment with about half of them saying, yeah, I think there's grounds for impeachment and the other half saying there's no grounds for impeachment. And you know what? This whole thing is a moot fucking point because he's so fucking unlikely to actually get impeached. Yeah, he might get impeached in the House, but it's, there's no fucking way. You need a two-thirds majority in the fucking Senate. So that means you'd have to have significant amounts of Republicans saying to themselves, hey, let's turn against our own fucking president who's super popular in our own party. Any Republican who did that would basically be saying, well, I've decided I'm not going to even try to win re-election. I am going to turn on our president and and, uh, and allow him to be impeached. It's not going to happen. So the whole thing is just a fantasy. It's a bunch of symbolic bullshit, you know? So he, he's not actually going to get removed from office by, uh, you know, via impeachment. Maybe if the fucking heat gets too, maybe if it gets too hot for him, he might resign like Nixon did. But that's about the worst that would happen, you know? So uh, this idea that Trump is going to be removed from office, like that, the idea that that's even a realistic outcome to this situation is pretty silly. Anybody who knows anything about how the impeachment process works uh, for a president knows that there's practically no fucking chance of it. Yeah, it'll pass the House because the House, you only need a simple majority in the House, and the House is stacked with Democrats, So there's a good chance that he'll get impeached in the House. But there's no fucking chance, next to no chance, unless some truly undeniably scandalous shit comes out that even the Senate Republicans can't ignore. That's the only fucking way he gets impeached in the fucking Senate. And if it's reached that point where it's it's so fucking scandalous that it can't even be denied by Republican senators, then even a lot. But at that point, even some Trump voters will have turned on him. You know, a lot of them will still think it's fake news and it's not real. But you know what? Even if it did happen, even if Trump was impeached, I don't buy for a second that there's going to be this fucking coalition of badass Trump supporters that are going to go take their revenge on the politicians what done Trump wrong. It's just a ridiculous, like, this, this dude, Rick Wiles, by the way, this is the same guy 
the first time I ever encountered this guy, he was basically telling me that the Obama administration was putting together like an army of blacks and Mexicans that was going to sweep across the lands, uh, going to white families, killing the men and uh, the boys and uh, taking the, the wives and the girls, the daughters for themselves. And it was going to be this and then, you know, taking them in as uh, sex slaves, basically. And that was going to happen. That was imminent. There was going to be this this uh, Obama army of brown people coming to your door, killing you and uh, raping your wife and raping your daughter and taking them as sex slaves. That was the first time I ever heard of this guy. That was the first prediction of his that I ever heard. And, you know, guess what? Did that come to pass? No. Did anything even vaguely resembling that come to pass? No. This guy just makes ridiculous prediction after ridiculous prediction, and for some reason, someone out there is listening to him and taking him seriously to this day, despite the fact that he's just been wrong, wrong, wrong at every fucking turn. You know, he hasn't predicted a goddamn thing right in his entire tenure as the host of this True News bullshit, the ironically named True True News. Um, so... And this is just yet this is just the latest in a long line of preposterous predictions peddled by this fucking uh <laughs> chicken shit uh shit for brains chicken shit for brains motherfucker you're bigots we're not going to allow your vote to count and they've waged war against those people now for 3 years calling them every name that you can they those those people are fed up with it dog they're fed up with it, and they know if if they get away with this, there's no country left. It's done. It's finished. <clears throat> so, what is? Uh, yeah. So no, um, no. We've uh, we've impeached presidents before. Presidents have resigned in disgrace before. You know, did it cause turmoil and confusion and anger? And other feelings uh, throughout the populace, yes. Did it lead to the destruction of America? No. Even when our country was literally ravaged by civil war, we eventually came back together. So to think that the straw that breaks the entire country's back will be Trump's impeachment is ridiculous. To think that Trump's impeachment is even going to go through is ridiculous. You know, uh, unless, like I said, there's some new shit that comes to light that's just so damning that even Senate Republicans can't ignore it. And if that's the case, then he should be impeached. And anybody who fucking takes up arms about it is a fucking terrorist who should be shot on the fucking on site. Sorry. If you fucking can't handle the results of democracy and you decide to take up arms and go murder your political opposition, then, you know, at that point, the U.S. government has every right to shoot you in the fucking head with an AK-47 until your brains are a fucking Jackson Pollock painting on the wall nearby. Gerald Salini say, when people have lost everything... They have nothing to lose. They lose everything. Who's... who's Trump is not everything. <laughs> Trump is... That's the thing. These people you're talking about, these Trump supporters, Trump is not everything they have. They don't have nothing to lose. It's not like Trump is the only thing going for them, okay? Most of these people have jobs and houses and cars and families and pets and toys they like to play with, like their stupid fucking guns. They like to go shoot in the woods or at the range or on the hunt or whatever the fuck, and they got... ATVs and jet skis and a boat and a fucking, you know, whatever the fuck else bullshit they like. They got other shit. If Trump gets, you know what happens, you know what they do when Trump fucking gets out of office? I'm sure they'll talk the big talk about, man, we should fucking go and march on Washington and we should fucking show Nancy Pelosi what's what and fucking, here's a fucking meme I made of AOC getting fucking shot in the head and all this or whatever the fuck they do. But you know what they're actually going to fucking do at the end of the day? Nothing but that. It's all a bunch of fucking talk. It's all a bunch of fucking hot air. Because they do have too much to lose. 
You know, if if we were talking about an indigent population of people who didn't have a pot to piss in and a window to, or a window to throw it out of, and Trump was their only thing, and he they just felt like the only person who really cares about us and who's really fighting for us is Trump, and we just don't have anything else. Then yeah, maybe they would fucking arm themselves and rise up. But that ain't the case. This is America. People have shit here. Even the poor people around here have some shit. It's losing. All right. <clears throat> They're going to go on the rampage. And you're not going to be able to put it back in the bottle. It's, it's, it's going to be turned loose. Once the blood mm-hmm. starts it's flowing. Absolutely. They're impossible to stop. That's right. Right. Well, it's not going to happen. So uh, my prediction, <laughs> not going to happen. My prediction is Trump will not be impeached. My prediction is if he is impeached, no one's going to do shit. My impe- my my, <laughs> and then furthermore, if anyone does do shit, they're going to be killed quickly and unceremoniously, and you won't hear about them ever again. There's those are my predictions. I happen to think those are a little bit more solid than uh, than this wild conjecture that Mister um, Wiles is trying to sell us on here. 